I wish there was a way to just focus in on the bottom, you know, so I could see fish sitting on the bottom. Then Garmin had come up with something like that. Hello, Rick. I can help with that. Go into the menu and select Zoom Bottom Lock. That should do it. By the way, I love the BTL hat. Oh, hey, let's give that a try. All right, so in almost all my tutorials, y'all have noticed that I tell you turn almost all the zoom functions off. Just leave the magnify on. And there's a reason for that. In the past, I've had several people who've taken pictures of their screen and emailed them to me and said, Rick, what's going on with my screen? And especially on side view. And what they'll do is they'll get it in the auto zoom or something and not realize it. And I can tell from picture, I can look down there in the bottom where all the writing and the depth and everything is, and I can see it's an auto zoom and then just let them know that, hey, go ahead and turn everything but the magnify off. But let's go ahead and go one step further because there's a lot of people who fish for fish that are sitting on the bottom, whether it be bass, catfish, walleye that are hanging around the bottom and you really can't see them very well especially when you're in deeper water so there is what's called bottom lock and it's part of the zoom functions in the regular menus so let's go over some of that all right so all of my tutorials up to this point we just pretty much use the magnify box which you can pinch that on move it around and take a look at things in your regular screen. Let's say you're really hunting and searching and you want to just lock into that bottom, okay? So let's go menu, zoom, bottom lock. And that just really puts you right there at the bottom, but you really can't see a whole lot. So let's go one step further. They got what's called a split zoom. And that lets you take a look at the whole picture. Go ahead and turn that on. And as you can see, the BL right there, that means bottom lock. So right now you're going to stay on the bottom in about a range of six foot. Okay, if you wanted to change that and go more or less, go menu, span. And let's say we want to go... 15 foot. So that changes your span there. And when you have bottom lock on, you can't do anything. Your fingers don't do anything except for if you do want to stop and mark a waypoint, you can still slide that way or hit the pause button. And there's your crosshairs if you wanted to mark a spot. And then of course from there, remember don't hit the mark down here on the menu, hit the teardrop, okay? Let's go ahead and hit play again. Now if you wanted a little more control over it, you could go menu, go back to your split zoom and you can go manual if you want. there you can move the zoom around with your finger and that's not too bad an option either and you can also adjust the span with your fingers so that's not a bad option either I kind of I kind of like that option as well but if I'm really wanting to just focus on the bottom. Hit that bottom lock with that split zoom. And that's a pretty good screen there. Now you can go to auto. And that's okay too, but that screen will be bouncing around on you a little bit. This particular simulator file doesn't have a lot of change in the bottom depth. 
but for simplicity, just to get started with the split zoom, I like putting it in either bottom lock. Now I did that for a reason. If you notice, when you're on bottom lock, this is all flat. It doesn't show any contours. That's the top of your water line up here. And also notice your numbers are inverted. The zero is down here at the bottom, where on this side, the zero is up here at the top. So this is basically showing you a flat bottom with no contours. That's the difference in the bottom lock. Now let's say I go to manual. That puts it more in line with, you can see the numbers. Here, zero isn't at the bottom. So it'll show you all the different contours instead of just that flat bottom. We'll go menu, we'll span, we'll go back to the zoom. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at traditional. And it's pretty much the same. Go in here, go to your zoom. And there again, when you go to that bottom lock, you don't have any control. You can see when I change my combos, when you have that set, that combo, the way you have it set, it comes over with your different combos as well. Of course, if you want, if you're in a combo and you want to go back to a regular screen, you go to menu, clear view menu, split zoom, turn that off. All right, like I say, when you get done, I would recommend going back in, turning on your magnify, and leaving it like that for the most part. So I'm gonna show you this just because I get some people who have emailed or had comments about the side view and their screen being all messed up. And they'll send me a picture, and almost every time when I look at it, it's going to be zoom. It's going to be an auto zoom. And it'll look like that. If you ever can't figure it out, look over here. It tells you what, what you're in. And when you're in auto zoom on side view, it doesn't look very good. Now, there is a time and a place for it, but... That's why I really suggest that you just leave the magnify turned on, especially in the side view. It is nice to have that box, so I would leave the magnify on. But there have been several people who've got messing around and turn that auto zoom on and then they're not sure where they're at and they don't know why their screen doesn't look right. But that's the reason right there. And we can look at the split zoom, which has these two boxes here. And then that's what you got up there. So that's kind of why it looks all distorted when you have it in just straight auto. I'm not real thrilled with that screen either, but you are you can play with it if you'd like. All right, so in this split zoom, let's take a look at what the plus and minus buttons do for you. So sonar, clear view, menu, zoom, split zoom. 
Okay, so if I'm just in a regular split zoom and I use the plus and minus buttons, now this is an auto zoom. If you notice, that changes my range on my regular screen. Now if I go back to my menu and I change out the bottom lock, Now my plus and minus buttons are changing my zoom side range. So that's kind of a nice feature if you don't, if you're in bottom lock, you don't always have to go to menu and change the span here, although that's not real hard either. I can go there. And if you really want to fine tune it, you got to do it here anyway, because the plus and minus buttons go in increments of five and 10, depending on how deep you are. And same thing with the traditional. Right now I'm in manual zoom. So if I use my plus and minus buttons, it's changing the range on my normal side. If I go to bottom lock, it changes the range on my zoom side. So as you can see, that bottom lock feature really is nice. And there's a lot of the zoom functions that if you know how to use them will really help you out, especially when you want to take a look at something that's on the bottom. Uh, being how we got a lot of walleye in our lake, you know, that, that comes in real handy for me but you gotta know how to use them because otherwise where you think you really messed your picture up and I've had people hit, you know, restore sonar defaults. Don't need to do that. Just take a look in your zoom. If all else, just leave it on magnify only, which is that green bar on the side when you press it and you should be just fine. So again, if you wanna document your fish catches, guys, I've got these angler journals. They're on Amazon KDP. The link is in the bottom. And you know what? Until next time, keep calm and hook them and we'll see you.